I am back with some more mommy tips and some more mommy talk. Today, we are gonna be discussing the pros and the cons of vaginal delivery, okay? I've got some pros and I've got some cons. This video is gonna be a little lengthy because we got a lot to cover. So, before we get started, do not forget to subscribe, com subscribe, 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 and comment below with any questions that you may have concerning this video. Also, there are gonna be some links in, in the description box below with just some other um, links to other information and more information about pros and cons of vaginal delivery, okay? Let's get into it. So excited, woo! We are first gonna start with the pros of vaginal delivery. And I have five pros. I know there's probably more, but I'm only gonna cover five of them. With the first one being, it's the most natural way to have a baby. We as the women are bodily equipped with everything that we need to be able to deliver a baby vaginally. That's the way God designed it. You know, I know we have C-sections and we're gonna talk about that in another video, but I know we have that option and those are for um, other cases for most women, but the most natural way is vaginal. We are equipped with that without any medical intervention. We don't necessarily need any med medication, even though I needed it, but we don't need it to actually push the baby out. Um, that is something that we're equipped with and we're just women. I am woman and I'm gonna push this baby out through my vagina. Two, sense of accomplishment and empowerment. Like I said, we are women and we push these babies out. And that is something after I had my son, my mom told me she has never seen somebody push a baby out without using the forceps. Like by, when she, back when my mom had us, they helped use the forceps, which is like the little scissor looking thing and they put it on the head and help push, brick pull them out but I pushed my son out all by myself and it just felt good to know after I held him and like yeah I did this and even though the Lord gave me the strength to do it it was still just empowering to know that I pushed him out myself so it's, it's just a, it's an empowering thing and it's an accomplishment to know that you did it you paced yourself you went through it you went through delivery you went through the labor you went through the pain and now you have your beautiful baby three Vaginal deliveries have a shorter hospital stay. Now, I was probably a weird one. I wanted to stay in the hospital, even with my vaginal. I was like, can I stay here for a week? I just wanted to relax. But for most women, they want to get out. You're ready to go home. You're ready to be with your baby. You're ready to kind of do your own thing. And vaginal deliveries, you only have a shorter um, hospital stay. That you only, you typically only stay in the hospital for 24 to 48 hours. You, you're usually discharged within 48 hours. So. That is a pro for you. It's a con for me because I like to stay in the hospital, but shorter hospital stay. Four, a quicker recovery time. It's not going to take you as long to recover. You're going to get to go home quicker, and then when you get home, you're, you're, you're able to move. You're not um, bed written and just can't move, can't get up, can't walk. You, you're you're going to be a little pain, but for the most part, you're once the baby comes out, you're pretty much back to yourself. You can walk. You can you you can you can function. So you're gonna have a quicker recovery time than that of a C-section. And five, the most important one, it's the best for the baby. Pushing them out vaginally helps um, eliminate, well not eliminate, but they're at a lower risk for respiratory issues, asthma, um, lactose intolerances, food allergies. There's a lot of different things. Like I said, there are links in the, in, links in the description box below that's gonna give you a lot more information. But there's a lot of pros just for the baby. Also, another one for the baby is that they get to breastfeed immediately. So they immediately come out and they immediately have that contact with you, which is gonna help you create that bond. Now we're gonna move over to the cons. And I also have five cons. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's probably more, but I'm only gonna cover five. With the first one being fear of anxiety. Fear and anxiety may cause um, emotional turmoil for some women. Um, and just, that can just, just the thought of having a vaginal delivery can sometimes send women into labor and cause problems and with, because it's because of their fear of it. And you just don't wanna do that. But, um, that is a con, that's what a lot of, when I asked, that's what a lot of them said. And then also when I looked, when I did my research, that was one that kept coming up as well. It's just a lot of fear and anxiety of vaginal deliveries um, usually gives people so much emotional turmoil that they usually have some problems, not usually, but they have problems and it sends them into early labor or they have a bunch of complications, which ends up making them have to have a C-section. So that's one con that came up. Two, 
unforeseen complications during labor. Um, one that kept coming up was maternal hemorrhaging, which is just unexpected bleeding. Um, you're pushing out a baby. So there's going to be a lot of blood, but sometimes um, there's too much and it can, it can just be pretty dangerous. So that's one that can, that kept coming up during my research was, um, unforeseen complications during labor. But the one that was pretty, the biggest was maternal hemorrhaging. Look it up. There's also going to be links in the de description box below. Three, perineum tearing. Now I did tear with my son. I did have some tears and these tears can range from like mild, small tears. I had a small tear, but they can range from fourth degree tears all the way into your rectum. And that's going to like elongate your healing time as well. So that is a, a con just because that's pretty painful to have to go through pretty much your butt ripping because you had to push out this baby. And um, for the most part, it usually happens with large bait like big babies um and sometimes when you're pushing for a long time or if you're if you're pushing unnecessarily i think that was what i read when you push really for re really hard and unnecessary like the baby's not coming out sometimes it can um cause tearing so just do what the doctor say to prevent that i don't know how to say this but for urinary in con incontinence which pretty much just means urine leaks meaning after you have a baby sometimes things don't tighten back up and you can be laughing ha and then you pee so that was one con that kept coming up as well i did not have that um my stuff tightened back up but i know you have some women who push out a big baby um and that some of the some of the reasons for that was um if you have an assisted vaginal delivery like the forceps i was talking about or um if you pr have prolonged pushing meaning you have to keep pushing for a long time a lot of times that's that's hard on your bladder and then also if you have a large baby so urine leaks and then five this is some that i dealt with personally odor healing after stitches and hemorrhoids i put all those in one because that was like my those are my three biggest ones that i personally dealt with there is an odor that now all women may not experience but for the ones that i asked everybody experienced it after a fashion delivery there's an odor that is undeniable and it is terrible after a vaginal delivery and it takes about a week week and a half to really go away um so be prepared for that also the pain of the stitches the stitches when when after you have the baby you're if you get a um epidural you're not gonna feel the stitches but once that wears off you're gonna feel it and it's gonna it's, it's very very uncomfortable and you have to kind of do a lot you have to soak you can soak you can soak in epsom salt and um i did epsom salt and alcohol um and it was it was one more thing i forgot what it's called but um soaked in it and it just helped kind of relieve some of the pain it helped it um, helped with the swelling it helped with um a lot of the blood that's coming out it's just it's it's just gonna be a lot and then because you're pushing a baby out most of the times so you push out hemorrhoids and those those are just completely uncomfortable just period and sometimes they don't even go back in so you have to deal after a vaginal sometimes you have to deal with hemorrhoids just all the time because they just don't go back in and you can see a doctor about that if they're getting too uncomfortable i would definitely say to see a doctor but just be prepared for it all right mommies whoo that was a lot of information i know but i'm glad you stuck with me i'm glad you went all the way through so you can get this information about vaginal deliveries it's a lot to know, but it's worth learning about so that you can be prepared before you go into your labor. Like I said in the beginning, I have these um, links in the description box below. If you have just more questions and concerns about some of the things we talked about, there are um, links to where I got this information from. Go research, go look, go read. Also talk to your doctors and all those things, okay? If you have questions for me, be more than happy to answer. Leave comments down in the comment section below, okay? Again, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe now. And don't forget to hit that bell so you get all your updates, okay? Thank you so much for watching. This was the pros and cons of vaginal delivery. And again, if your kids have not told you today or this week, you 
are a great mom and they appreciate all that you do, everything that you do. And do not forget, a woman who fears the Lord, her children will rise up and call her blessed. Have a good rest. You love so much.